My name is Dr Colin Geddes. I'm a consultant nephrologist, which means that I look after people who have diseases that affect the function of their kidneys. I look after uh, people with uh, diseases that affect their kidney function, and in people whose kidney function is deteriorating, and it looks like eventually their kidneys will fail and they'll need kidney replacement treatment, I spend quite a lot of time talking to them about the different options that are available, dialysis and transplantation, and trying to make the best plan for them. And if they're fit enough for a, a transplant, then I'll explain to them that a transplant is the best option for them. So I have another role uh, as a nephrologist in that I work as part of the team that uh, do the medical assessment of people who are considering donating a kidney. So I work with the transplant coordinators who have already met the potential donor and have already performed a preliminary medical assessment. And I will meet the potential donor, uh, go over their medical history, examine them. And what we're trying to do is make sure that they are fit enough to have an operation and also have no evidence of any problems with, the, with their own kidneys. So what we say when we're discussing this with people who have kidney failure is that the advantage of a transplant is it avoids the need for dialysis. Dialysis is an effective treatment if you've got kidney failure in keeping you alive, but there are a lot of restrictions uh, with dialysis, both in terms of time and in what you can eat and what you can drink. And people who've been on dialysis and then have had a transplant will tell you they feel much better with a transplant. There are some advantages to receiving a live donor transplant compared with a deceased donor transplant. A deceased donor transplant is a good treatment for kidney failure, but a living donor transplant is even better. And that's for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, you can usually get a living donor transplant sooner than a deceased donor transplant. You don't have to wait on a waiting list. And that gives the option of getting a transplant even before you needed dialysis, which is a, probably the best treatment for kidney failure. Uh, also, the living donor transplant can be done at a time that suits, so it can be planned, whereas the deceased donor transplant may have to happen in the middle of the night. And finally, if you look at people who've had transplants 10, 15 years ago, those who got a live donor transplant are more likely to be alive and off dialysis than those who got a deceased donor transplant. Well, I have a very rewarding job. It's great to work as part of a team that look after people with kidney failure over many years. We get to know these people very well. And it's particularly rewarding when you see them coming into the clinic three, four weeks after the transplant and feeling so much better, looking so much better, and talking about things like going back to work, planning holidays, etc. Well, again, I think we are lucky in the job that we do that there are many special moments. For example, seeing a, a young woman who have looked after for many years with kidney failure, maybe on dialysis, then get a transplant and then a year or two later be able to get pregnant and, and have a successful pregnancy. When you see them pushing the, the, the pram in uh, with the baby in it, then it brings home to you how transplantation can restore the ability to do the amazing things in life that many of us take for granted. Well, I think it would be really good if more, more donors came forward because that would mean more kidney transplants and unfortunately despite the increases recently there are still many people who would benefit from a kidney transplant but for one reason or another don't have anybody that can donate directly to them and are waiting on a deceased donor waiting list. If someone was watching this and thinking about donating a kidney I would encourage them to speak to people about it, speak to family pick up the phone, speak to their local transplant coordinator and find out more about it. And I would particularly emphasise the fact that they shouldn't feel that if they've picked up the phone and started speaking to people that there's any commitment. Just phone up and find out more about it.